I have no idea why these haven't caught on. I recently had to go on an e-bike for the first time and I was instantly addicted. It was so much fun. So naturally, I went to make my own four kilowatt hub motor kit, which I purchased from online. And then Tom and I thought it was a good idea to go and make a Hello Kitty mini e-bike. And that was just hilarious. Now you might think I've reached a strange and wonderful wall in e-bike worlds, but I think there's one more step I can go. Behold the monowheel. They've been around over a century and they look weird and wonderful and super futuristic. They feature Men in Black, Star Wars and South Park. But let's be clear, I'm not basing my design off the South Park one. If you know, you know. Now my first hurdle I think I'm gonna have to overcome is to find the outer ring. It needs to be big enough and strong enough to fit me in. The idea of getting a pipe bender and bending my own isn't gonna end well. Especially when my workshop is my kitchen and my patio and my garden. I do have another idea though, even if it's a bit plan bodge. A trampoline, 20 pounds off Facebook Marketplace. It's a circle frame and five foot in diameter. It also came with some netting and a frame which I decided I could make use of. After a final jump, I very precisely measured up how I could get this to work. I plan to use the safety net's frame as my subframe. This would help to keep the cost down. Right, without stating the obvious, my handiwork with metal might be of the newbie sort of stage. All of you professionals out there or experts, you might find some of my techniques to uh, a comedy sort of factor. Now, I do have some good techniques, like catching the sparks in my boot. Oh, the double foot plant technique. This hasn't been used in years. Pilot holes being drilled by a pilot. pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Open wide. Okay. <laughs> That's not a drill. No. <laughs> this is a drill. <laughs> so you never played knife and drilly before? <laughs> as impressive as a large drill bit was, I found a much greater success with the step down drill bit. I used Miles steel flat bar, connected to the tubes from the safety frame. There was plenty of cutting and drilling in this project, which is always good fun in your rear garden on your patio. For the rollers, I planned to 3D print them. I designed some Fusion 360, and started printing in a 50% infill, initially with PLA, although I'm not sure if it's going to be strong enough. I designed it so it would have a bearing each side, with an axle bolt through the middle. To press the bearings in place, I created this bearing press, by using some 10mm threaded rod, and some nylon washers on each side. It worked well, and I'm pleased with the end result of the rollers, let's just hope they're strong enough. Can I go straight or cut that line? Yeah, it's straight, mate, yeah. Oh, that's the bit from the shop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not too bad, though, yours, not yeah. Not too bad. Oh, Come on, yes. Again. Yep, that will do nicely. Explain what's happened, Sam. I really know they say. Measure twice, cut once. Well, we didn't do that for one. <laughs> And then, when we put this through, it doesn't go together because there's not enough clearance. Even though I probably should have foreseen it, it wasn't a massive issue. A single 10mm bolt straight through seemed to do the trick. While I was also increasing the chance of impaling by a factor of two. <laughs> yeah, you, you fit past. <laughs> like a little chicken and egg. <laughs> You're hatching I'm on the, soon. Well, I'm on <laughs> well, I managed to develop the world's worst skateboard which I quickly scooted around the house. I had a friend who was going to do the welding for me to join up the trampoline sections. However, being galvanised, it's not safe to weld, so I had to grind it down. Whilst I was in the proper workshop, I took every advantage of using all the tools available. He very kindly let me use his drill press, where we finished up the remainder of the drilling. Although, I'm not sure why he didn't want to give me a job. You reckon I'll get a job? No. <laughs> Too precise, do you? No. <laughs> I made two more terrible skateboards 
and then join them together at the top by using some flat bar. Crudely slid on a motorbike seat and it was time for its first spin. My genius idea had come to a very predictable ending and the trampoline wasn't near strong enough, it just snapped in two. Now it might have seemed obvious that was going to happen, I don't regret trying though, it was worth a go. My friend who did the welding for me mentioned there was a company that actually bend the metal bars for you. So I called them up and they quoted me just over £100, which wasn't too bad. Interesting enough though, when they bend them, they leave a gap in the middle which needs to be welded. And you'll see why that's funny in a minute. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's good, mate. It's good. Look at it, it's solid, mate. Bit of strappage. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> the wind's blowing over the hole and it's making like a ooh, ooh noise. I don't know if you can hear it. It's really loud. It's so loud. Oh, dear boy. That's the, uh, I don't know whether it was recording. That's smooth. Is it good? My kitchen now looked like a family of mono wheels had run riot through it, but the new wheel was super smooth. It was worth every penny I spent on it. You broke a perfectly good trampoline. And, uh... <laughs> right, I told him you to get it together. It was coming together. I quite liked the look of it. It sort of had a steampunk feel to it. power this beast, I'm using a 350 watt scooter hub wheel. I pinched it off my Hello Kitty bike, which was originally meant for this project. I just didn't have the heart to cut it up though, so I went and bought out another kid's bike. It cost me £2, and it was a much cheaper option for using as a rear wheel mount. So I chopped it up and away we go. How I was going to drive them on a wheel was always a concern for me. I mounted it at an angle, so therefore when it pivoted, the wheel itself would drive into the monowheel and hopefully therefore create more grip. I crudely cut up two bike tyres and stuck them to the outside. The first test. <laughs> so we're using the, uh, the wheel of the Hello Kitty bike, which was what it was kind of originally for us for the monowheel. I haven't quite mounted it yet, but I wanted to test it, I couldn't wait. Oh, and by the way, I can do the complimentary stuff. Oh. You ready? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> it actually grips. Oh, he's wanting to tip over the bench, isn't it? Oh, of course, yeah. Because the inertia of it. Yeah, look It's at going it. the wrong way, though, isn't it? That's not. It is. It's not. I oh, know it isn't, yeah. I'm stupid. <laughs> We've been down this road already. Oh my god. Lift, lift the whip. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, we didn't reverse the wheel! The wheel was backwards! <laughs> I planned to use some old scooter handlebars, but when thinking about it, they were too close in, and I think it might affect my balance. I took this as a good excuse to upgrade my e-bike handlebars, using the old ones for this project. I 3D printed a mount, and it was time for a first test, even if it was a bit late at night. What time is it, Sam? It's a monowheel time. And soon better. <laughs> oh my god! That actually looks really good. How does it feel? It feels a little bit sketchy, but it. My excitement got the better of me. The glue was still wet. It was time to retire for the evening. What you doing? This is why you let things dry before you test them. Give it a bean, Storm! After ingeniously sanding down the glue and reapplying it again, this time waiting for it to dry, it was time for another test. A bit more in daylight this time.
You know, I think I'm finally getting the hang of it. Morning wheel is dangerous. Ah, oh, right. I just need a breather because that was an incident. Oh, look, the PLA is coming off. Oh, the wheel's falling apart. <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh, my. Is it bad? No, it's only the outer, only the outer layer. Yeah, it's just we've got another three of them. It's so sketchy. <laughs> it's funny because when you panic, your instinct is to close the, when you go, oh dear, you, your instinct is to close the throttle. Mm. If I do that, it just sends you forward at a complete, you actually need to like give it some and do the opposite. <laughs> right, right. It's like really counterintuitive. It's so safe. It's so, so safe. <laughs> so safe. All right, should we go and find someone to ride it? Yeah. Come on, then. let's take it into the public eye. Morning. So I thought it was only right that I tried to get my feet up, so I fitted these motorbike foot pegs. A few more practices, and I learnt one thing. Monowheels are really hard to ride. I'm going to keep practicing. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>